Remember, the Force will be with you, always. Yo, what's up, Tron Identity? What a way to start the show. Welcome to the first ever Disney and Marvel Games Showcase. I'm your host, Blessing Adioye Jr. And today I'll be your NPC guide as you quest through game announcements from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm, and 20th Century. Now, if you wanna keep up to date with Bithel Games' first adventure in the expanded Tron universe, and their upcoming collaborations with Disney games, be sure to follow their socials. In fact, you should probably drop a follow on all the Disney game socials for more info on today's world premieres, like this one right here. Toku. Our entire world is in danger. You must travel to the three biomes of Monoth and retrieve the gloves of knowledge. If others are in need, we should help them. <laughs> Don't you worry, Toku. We'll do it. Hang on, the books are gone. It's okay, we'll explain. TBD, TBD, TBD. Wait, are those placeholder words or the actual words? Yes. That was awesome. I got dibs on Goofy, y'all. Disney Illusion Island debuts exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system, and whether you're looking to run solo or couch co-op with up to three friends as the Fab Four, you can put it on your wish list today. Now, if you've been wishing for more info on Marvel's Midnight Suns, I've got you. In this RPG from the tactical geniuses at Firaxis Games, you play as the Hunter, the first customizable original hero in a Marvel game. Lead Blade, Magic, Ghost Rider, Nika Minoru, and more in a fight against Lilith, Mother of Demons, plus the Elder God, Kathan, with revolutionary card-based tactics featured in this all-new gameplay trailer.
you heard what the trailer said. Marvel's Midnight Suns is coming out this year on December 2nd for Windows PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S. And it's available to pre-order today. But that's not all. Right now, we have a sneak peek of the intro for the set of new prequel shorts that gives a never-before-seen preview of the heroes that you'll be playing as. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be dope. Be sure to follow at Marvel Games and the Midnight Sun social channels for more information. And now, here's some exciting news about a Marvel game you can play today. Now listen, I know you came here for the trailers and DLC announcements and big reveals, and not me, but I'm cool with that because I wanna see what's next too. So let's get to it. Oh, hi there. You look like someone who's ready to join me on a wild ride to the multiverse. What's that? You have plans right now? We'll cancel them. Welcome to Marvel Snap. You can access it from anywhere. Your house, your workplace, bathroom at your workplace. Let's be honest, most likely the bathroom, am I right? It's clobbering time! And it's as easy to play as solitaire. Naturally easier. I don't think I've ever won a game of solitaire. But here's the twist. These cards are super powered. Like the entire canon of Marvel characters kind of super powered. Maybe you, like me, would love to see Shang-Chi kick Thanos' evil purple butt. Or you've always wondered what the Guardians of the Galaxy would look like in 8-bit mode. Well, wonder no more. Got him! It's easy to pick up and so much fun to master. In other words, less time than a bagel takes to toast. Who doesn't have a bagel's worth of time? So don't wait to explore a multiverse of possibilities. Oh, snap. Marvel Snap. It's time to make your move. The game launches on October 18th. Pre-register now at marvelsnap.com. Yeah, I can get with that. Don't forget to set a reminder to download Marvel Snap on your Android and iOS devices on October 18th. And be sure to stick around here for more Marvel reveals later in the showcase. But first, next year, gamers are getting dropped into the middle of a Xenomorph outbreak in the tactical squad-based action of Aliens Dark Descent. In this look at gameplay, take your squad of Marines on missions as you infiltrate and investigate the Xenomorph outbreak. Develop your tactics, assemble your Colonial Marines, and take on the Xenomorph hordes in Aliens Dark Descent next year on consoles and PC. But first, let's talk about Avatar and revisit Pandora. In Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, you'll be immersed in the beauty and danger of the alien moon and experience a living and reactive world firsthand as a Na'vi. You'll explore new environments and interact with all new creatures, 
plants, and characters in the never before seen Western frontier, fighting against the RDA in a brand new standalone story for PC and next gen consoles. Now from Pandora to a galaxy far, far away. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga destroyed sales records like Rebels taking out Death Stars. If you haven't picked it up yet, or you've already blown up all the Death Stars too, here's another reason to jump into the Skywalker Saga. New characters including Cassian Andor, Reva, Captain Rex, and more are coming to LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga soon. Take on even more Stormtroopers, lead a lightsaber, or the Force, party your way through the galaxy, and get ready to expand your character collection. The Galactic Edition comes out this holiday season with 13 character packs, including six all new ones, adding some of your favorite characters. Now, for those who don't know, Lucasfilm Games is known for more than just Star Wars titles. Today, the voice of Guybrush Threepwood, Dominic Armato, is here to share a look at the upcoming Return to Monkey Island. Hello, fellow pirates. My name is Dominic Armato, the voice of Guybrush Threepwood. Don't be fooled by the name. The Monkey Island Adventure Series is about pirates, not monkeys. It's been a part of the Lucasfilm family of games for more than 30 years, beginning in 1990 with The Secret of Monkey Island. I want to be a pirate. Through the years, each game has been carefully crafted to feature the humor, clever puzzles, and sense of adventure that made Monkey Island such an iconic video game series. Plus, we've got some outstanding voice acting, a wonderful new musical score, and a gorgeous illustrated art style. We've also put together an in-game scrapbook in which Guybrush Streetwood details his adventures and important moments from previous games. It's a great way to get caught up on what's happened so far, or a fun refresher if you already know the whole story. We can't wait for you to discover the secrets hidden in Return to Monkey Island. Play it on Nintendo Switch or PC on September 19th. You can strap on an eye patch and celebrate Talk Like a Pirate Day on September 19th by picking up Return to Monkey Island. Lucasfilm Games isn't the only team bringing the nostalgia vibes today. Over the last few years, Disney Games has revived classics like Aladdin, The Jungle Book, and The Lion King, and now they're teaming up with Empty Clip to bring back another classic, Gargoyles Remastered. A fan favorite that's sure to have you screaming like a Viking yeeted by Goliath. Ah! Yep, that's the scream. And while you'll have to wait to climb back into the world of Gargoyles Remastered, you can grab your phone and start unlocking heroes in this Disney and Pixar action RPG right now. When the call goes out for heroes, you never know who will answer. Sometimes the best hero is a villain. Someone a little sinister who will get the job done and doesn't care who they have to push aside. means forging devious alliances to fulfill their schemes. After all, there is strength in numbers, especially when that number is number one. I'd suggest downloading Disney Mirrorverse and leveling up your teams like now, if you're hoping to take on Hades and the other villains dropping this October. All right, let's get into our next reveal.
I wonder how many miles per screen Mike Wazowski is pulling. I guess we'll all find out together when Disney Speedstorm drops on PC and console. And now, let's take a stroll through an idyllic Disney neighborhood. If you want to help out some of your favorite Disney and Pixar friends in Disney Dreamlight Valley right now, good news, you can. With Xbox Game Pass or by grabbing the Founders Pack on your PC or just about every console you own. Now, for those who are looking for an action-packed MMORPG shooter that you can play in the palm of your hand, look no further than Avatar Reckoning. Soon, you'll be able to battle for the future of Pandora on your phone but for now, we've got Jared Yeager, an executive producer at Walt Disney Games, here to tell you more. Hey everyone, I'm excited to give you a sneak peek at the upcoming Avatar Reckoning. In this MMORPG shooter, you'll return to the moon of Pandora to find your own way in the aftermath of the Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains. As you begin your adventure, you'll customize your own Avatar Warrior. You'll also be able to collect and customize a range of weapons to prepare you for your journey. As you set out across single-player missions, you'll discover new regions as you unravel a mysterious story, encountering new clans and defending yourself from the perils of Pandora, from creatures to the RDA forces. You'll also be able to play both with and against others in online multiplayer. Team up in instances to battle with other players trying to survive against powerful enemies, or battle in player versus player mode, where you'll team up against other players across a variety of maps. You'll be able to experience all of this and more when Avatar Reckoning hits your mobile device soon. And now, another world premiere. We'll meet again, don't know where. Don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Keep smiling through, just like you always do, till the blue skies drive the dark clouds far away. Oh, let's freaking go. I know you're probably hopping onto Reddit to break down all those Easter eggs, but I recommend you don't tab away just yet because there's another world premiere from Marvel Games coming your way right now.
and there it is, the first ever Disney and Marvel game showcase. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I'm Blessing Adioye Jr. Thanks for joining us. It's been our pleasure to serve you. What is your next move? Yes. Yeah.